Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna Riel and I'm a recent master's graduate in the Material Science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you needed any help with tutoring or with homework, then check out the links in the description below. So now I'm just going to get started on my set of questions for today. Okay, so question number one, the voltage generated by the zinc concentration cell is described by this, uh, which is 22 millivolts at 25 degrees Celsius. Calculate the concentration of the zinc 2 plus ion at the cathode. Okay, so let me write down one. And then I'm also going to try and write down the cell as well. So we have the concentration of one of them. We're looking for the concentration of the other. Okay, so basically, I'm also going to write out the reduction reaction and the oxygen oxidation reaction for this cell as well, just so that we're all on the same page. So the reduction reaction happens in the cathode. And basically, this is when your zinc 2 plus is converted to the zinc solid, which is at the zero oxidation state. And then our oxidation reaction takes place in the anode. And in the oxidation reaction, your zinc is oxidized to zinc 2 plus plus two electrons. So I'm also going to write down like the definition of a galvanic cell. So this converts chemical energy to electrical. And this happens through spontaneous redox reactions. Okay, so now that we know that, I'm also going to write down what was given in the question. So E cell, they said, was equal to 22 millivolts. So I'm going to convert that to volts. So it's going to be 0 0.022 volts. And this is at 25 degrees Celsius. And then to calculate for E cell, it's going to be the following. Well, this is the re equation that we're going to need to calculate the concentration of zinc 2 plus. It's going to be E cell is equal to negative 0 0.022 
zero five nine one over n times the log of your can concentration of anode over concentration of cathode. Okay, so let's plug in all the values that we know. We know E cell is equal to 0 0.022 volts. We know the number of electrons in this reaction is 2. So I'm just going to put a 2. And then in terms of concentration, uh, the concentration of our anode, which is the zinc to zinc 2 plus, is the 0 0.1 molar. And then what we're looking for is the concentration of our cathode, which I'm just going to write down as x. So now I'm just going to solve for x. So just to simplify things, going to be negative 0 0.745 is equal to the log of 0 0.1 over x. And then to get rid of log, we're going to do 10 to the power of both sides. And then you end up with 0 0.1 over x. Let's bring it over here. So then your final answer should be x is equal to 0 0.556 molar. Let's look at the answer from our junior tutor. Since both electrodes of the same material, this cell is a concentration cell, and the standard cell potential will be zero. Yeah, right. Yep. So then the reduction of the half reaction is the zinc 2 plus plus 2 electrons makes zinc solid oxidation half reaction is the zinc solid to zinc 2 plus plus 2 electrons. The standard cell potential is the E cells equal to E cathode minus E anode. The measured cell potential is 0 0.022, and the number of electrons transferred is 2, and then they have the same equation, so this is the Nernst equation which I forgot to mention. And then they have 0 0.022 is equal to negative 0 0.0591 over 2 times log of the concentration of the anode over the cathode. And then they simplified it as well and then got 0 0.556 moles per liter. So this solution is correct. All right, so let's move on to question.